What's up, guys? This is the deck I've been using. It's been working really good for me. If you see, I'm almost level six, but not yet. So if if, if it's for like in the middle of a six, cause it works against level uh, freak. It works against a middle level fives because they're really good taking out level six. As you see right here, this guy right here, he's level six, and this guy. And we lost this guy, but if you look, he's level six. And we scroll down again, right here. This guy's level six. And right here, he's level six. Then right here, he's level six. And then right here, it was a draw, but he's level six also. So now I'm not gonna show you the draw, but I'm gonna start you guys off with the defeat. So here's how this guy defeated my deck. I show him off of them disrespect with the anger king. So now we just been up to Lexer waiting for ten. Usually I don't like to deploy. Usually I don't like to deploy until the enemy does. So he drop his barbarians and we drop on my minions and and the dragon. And he has his prince. It's going to be taken out easily. But so I just drop on my goblins so it doesn't get to our tower. So as you see, his towers are have more health than us. So I say thanks because um. He didn't do nothing about it, so I got a couple hit points off of it, and I arrow his minions, which also gets some health off of his tower. Then he gave me the thumbs up. I don't know. I actually don't know why. He's probably going to drop off his giant peck up, but little does he know I have my barbarians up. Barbarians are really good against, like, hog riders, um, giants, pekkas, mini pekkas. So look what he does. He dropped his mini pekka, so I'm going to drop out my barbarians. Well, they don't do. They don't really take the the Pekka out. I think about it. Cause the the giant Pekka does a lot more work than the mini Pekka. So if you want to take out the mini Pekka, you have to you have to uh you have to back it up or something. So now he has his um Goblin Barrel. I didn't have any arrows up, so he took a couple hundred points off. And now he has his dragon on our tower. So I had to use my um go goblins. I said well played because I. Because he took off a whole bunch of points off of our tower. So now I'm just building up my elixir again. Just wait. I like. I just wait for what he does. And then he does his minion horse. I'm going to drop off my minion horse. Knowing that it's in the middle of the uh, the tower. So it can get blown off. But level 5 are better than level 4s. So then he gets 1 health off of our left bo lo bottom left tower. So now he has his prince up and his mini P.E.K.K.A. He doesn't know which one to choose. He's going to choose his mini P.E.K.K.A. Now it's double elixir. He can also go do his prince. So the mini P.E.K.K.A. prince. Besides, if you drop it on the right side, his prince. I actually think witches are better against um giant P.E.K.K.A.s than barbarians. Because they have skeletons. So they can do more uh work. Like, take it out better. So now he has barbarians. I did not know that. So I dropped off my giant before it was there. So I, I dropped on my barbarian. But he's is level. He's is two high, levels higher than mine, so he, his barbarians are going to definitely beat us. But we drop off our spear goblins, and our tower was right there. Now we have two witches on the board. But sad enough, his dragon locked onto one of mine. He's locking onto the other one too. So now we didn't have anything to counter the prince, so we had to use our minions. And now he has a goblin barrel. I did not know. I didn't know where he was dropping it, so I dropped it right there, and sat. Oh, okay. Sad enough, he has cog riders here. So I had to use my um, dragon, and he has 400 points left on that tower. So I drop off my witch, so hopefully, he take out that tower on the right. And sad enough, he drop off his prince. And you see, dragon prince combo was not really fun to deal with. And now, as you see here, he's going to take out my tower with the prince. Or the not yet, but the dragon's here, so there's no point. He won. That's a good game. So that's, that's how you beat my deck, if you ever if someone ever does that. But let's go back. Let's guys start you off with a win now. See, we're still in Pekka Playhouse, Arena 4. I've been doing a lot of um pushing, and I give them the disrespect also. Oh, I always disrespect people that are like higher than me. So then, what I do, I actually don't know what to do yet. So I drop off my minions. And 
he has his, so I dropped my arrows because he did his, um, goblin barrel. So then, our one minion's still up. Well, it's going to destroy it because only have, like, half a half, half a health left. So now, we just bring up Elixir again. He has Elixir advantage than I do. So I'm going to drop up my witch because it does splash damage and, and does skeleton. And he has his musketeer up. If he had it up, I wouldn't, if I knew he had it up, I wouldn't drop off my, um, um, dragon. So you see, uh, musketeers do a whole bunch of damage against, um, dragons. The dragons are really slower than witches. I mean, dragons. So now he has this really big light push, I should say. Not really big push, because it's only small troops. I wish I had my arrows up, which I do now. I say well played, because he took off, like, 800 points off of our right tower. So now we're building up our legs again. He has a big advantage than I do. Now he has a dragon up. I'm going to drop off my dragon, only in the middle of the, um, middle of the tower. He has his hog rider up, so I didn't know how to counter it, so I just did it with my goblin, goblins. Now, our dragons will take up a couple points off of it. If you guys don't know what, like, deadly strategy to use, this here's a deadly strategy. Do the dragon and then some spirit goblins. They're, they're, they're really, they're very powerful. Because goblins are really strong, but they don't have that much hit points, but they're really strong. And a dragon can be really tanky if it's against the tower. But if, yeah, that's all I gotta say. And his barbarians are also one level higher than my barbarians. So that, that also sucked. So I'm gonna drop on my minion horde. And my dragon. But those are, but those are air units, so that there's nothing to, like, tank for the witch. But luckily, the witch gonna get targeted until now. So I'm gonna drop off my other witch. Double witch combo, guys. But now our witch died. And we're gonna take out his tower, boys. So now, we're gonna go for the three crown now, guys. But he dropped his hog rider. So that hog rider is going to take out our tower. Oh my gosh. We got lucky. I thought he was going to take out our tower. But it doesn't matter anyways. Because guys, if you look, we're going to get the three crown. Let's just speed this battle up. You see, we got three crown against a level six boys. Now let's get to another battle. That was getting like Juong or whatever his name is. It was uh, Juang. I don't know. No, I don't know how to pronounce that. But now let's get to another one. Another one. Another one for you boys. Another one. This one's got against your wrecked. But apparently he got wrecked. Oh! Sorry. I mean, he did get wrecked because I won. And he dropped a fireball, which doesn't make any sense because now he's low in elixir than I am. So I said thanks because that was like not really bright on this side. So now. We got this push here because of, of his mistake uh, with our witch and our spear goblins. But, look, bad enough for us, our witch got targeted by the, tow the crown tower. So now, I said Dan because we got a couple hit point, a couple hundred hit points off of his tower. So now he's giving me some disrespect. I'm not sure if I gave him any disrespect. I think I did. But now, this is, this is my mistake. I shouldn't have arrowed those goblins. I mean, minions. But now he has his hog rider. I see a lot of hog rider users in the, up here. So I was about to do my spear goblins, but I just do my dragon. I think I should have done my spear goblins. I mean, not go spear goblins, regular goblins. But I don't know why I didn't do that. But you see right here, the dragon does splash damage, so it hits the ta crown tower and the musketeer, but it doesn't get any, doesn't kill the musketeer nor the crown tower. So now, um, the musketeer almost got to our tower. You see, musketeers are really strong. Like, they have a lot of hit points and do so much damage. I mean, my shot doesn't do a whole bunch of damage, but they go really fast. So that's the thing about it. So I want to see what he's going to do. Uh, so I'm going to drop up my minions. And then my spare goblins. Then he dropped up his um, hog right up. So I had nothing to counter, so I dropped up my dragon. And then we take out another hundred pet points off of his tower another hundred another hundred sorry okay so if it was a prince versus a dragon it's always going i mean prince versus, a musketeer versus a dragon it's always going to be musketeer so now we're going to do this push again i know that prince is not going to be on long because barbarians take it out 
at level 5. So I'm going to drop off my arrow. No, I'm going to actually wait. I don't know. And yeah, I'm going to drop off my arrows, which is my mistake, actually, because now he has his hog rider. I'm going to drop off our minion, so it doesn't take out our tower. Okay. Now I'm going to drop off our regular goblins. So please take out the tower. And it almost does. So now I don't know what to do now. But if you see on the on the very left of our side of our tower, we have a rocket and it takes it out. I usually like to keep like lightning or rocket in the case of stuff that happens like that. But sad enough, he takes out our king crown tower. So now he's giving me some more disrespect. I ain't gonna take it. So you know what? We're gonna beat this guy. Gave me that kind of respect. I am fun time. I don't get disrespected. So now, drop up a fireball. And then, we're going to take this tower out, guys. I, I got really I got really ticked off. But now, look at this. This is funny. The goblins are chasing the hog rider. And that was his mistake. Now he's low on elixir. I, he, it's a good game because I know it's about to be over in a minute. And look at this. Double witch combo. If we had, like... If this wasn't overtime, I think we could have three crowned him, guys. Okay, now off to the next video. Shout out to Villager Shrom for the thanks for the barbarians. You're awesome. Okay, that was against your wreck. Now let's do Mosen uh, 2000. And I give him some disrespect, but you guys see he has a barbarian hut. So now that's going to be hard to deal with. But I still pull it off, guys. I pull it off. You know your boy Jacob Fun Time up in here. He's gonna pull everything. He he pull it off. You know he ain't gonna back down from a fight. So as you see, is he's working in working working on his hut. So I'm just gonna do this book push with the dragon and the witch to take out this tower, hopefully. And yes, we do. So I say things. So I honestly thought we were gonna get the three crown right here. So I keep dropping off troops right here. And hopefully, I was really hoping we could get the three crown, but no, no, we couldn't because this witch can't stay up long enough and do more skeleton. And he had to drop his Valkyrie. So I drop another witch, but look at on the bottom left, he's taking out our crown tower. So then I didn't, so now we're both tied now. So now he has a giant. So giants. Are not really a hard to counter. These barbarians or spirit or red goblins and spirit goblins. He should probably be taken out. So, I was thinking of error, erroring, but I don't know now. Hmm. He he has his big herd now, so I think I should have arrowed now. But knowing me, I don't. I make some dumb decisions sometimes, and don't do that. So now he has his musketeer up again. I'm gonna wait till it starts targeting our crown. Never mind. I wanted the, the musketeer to be near our crown tower, so it can um, also help take out the musketeer. Now he has his freaking prince. So I jump off my witch. That's I know not the best idea, but luckily the prince can tar then target the witch. So now I want to go for his crown tower. Because it has less health than I mean, the king tower. Because has less health than its crown tower. Wow, I need to take English lessons. Sorry, that's off topic. But now let's see here. I mean, I already started this big push. So I might as well just go for the his crown tower. Cause he, there's no way he could defend this. And look at this double witch combo. There's no way he could defend this, guys. So he drop a giant. But there is no way, guys, how he can defend this now. Look at this. We are going to get the three crown against a level six, guys. Do you know how many times I got a three crown against a level six? Well, then he sort of stopped me here. But nope, we got back up and we're going to continue. See, this is, this is why I bring arrows. This kid, this kind of stuff happens. Because nothing can withstand an arrow. Except for the witch. But it, the witch had like almost died. So, was that, was that the last video? I mean the last replay and nope we have one more for you guys that I probably gonna have to end this video so I give him some him some disrespect you know you should always give your, your opponent disrespect in the beginning 
That's what I do. I think that's how I won, giving him disrespect. Now he dropped off his um his uh mini Pekka. I'm just gonna count with my goblins. And I, I was thinking of dropping my, my minions. I would have dropped it off if I didn't see that dragon. That dragon's gonna take out our minions. So now I was sort of wor worrying now. I didn't know what to do. So I just dropped off my witch. Right here. Hope and hopefully he doesn't take out our tower. And he doesn't. I say well played because that was really well played. He said thanks. So I felt like she felt bad giving this guy disrespect. He was he's not a bad person. I mean, I still want to win. So now you see right here, I got my goblins because spirit goblins and dragons are really powerful. But luckily, bad enough, he dropped off his own knight. And now he takes his mini pet go. You know. I wanted to stop it, but I should just let it be. Just let it be. That was going down anyways. So now we have to come back, guys. We have to come back. So I don't know what to do now. I'm freaking out. He has a dragon up. It's not a reach of a the crown tower. Can't reach it. So I should have waited till he started targeting our crown tower. So the witch didn't take any damage. But luckily enough, the witch was still alive. So now I'm gonna drop off my minions, dragon, my dragon, cause the splash damage. But lucky enough, the witch also does splash damage. So here we go again. This is what I guys telling you guys about. I'm gonna drop off my arrows, which is my. I mean, I thought it was. It, that was be. That'll be a mistake, guys. But I was gonna drop on my spear gob, my regular gob, goblins, cause I told you they're really powerful when you do that combo. It takes out my witch. I was gonna do a double witch combo, but as you guys see, we're gonna take out his tower. That that witch that um the goblin was clutch. So now. Here you go again. I'm gonna drop up my dragon, and please, hopefully, he doesn't take out my queen. And he, I mean, which he does it. He did a good game because he knows he's about to lose. So that's what I do sometimes when I know I'm about to lose. I just like, wow, he beat me. That was excellent. I just say, a uh, good game. So that that was awesome. But luckily enough for him, he didn't he didn't get taken out yet. But if I speed this up. We're going to 3 crown him, guys. There's no doubt about it. Especially with our barbarians and they're so damaging. We're going to 3 crown him. And I say good game. He says, wow. <laughs> so that was our last video. Hope you guys enjoy. Please, li please like it. And see you guys in the next video.